Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Below Deck Spur. It's a podcast where two Midwest millennial siblings recap current Below Deck seasons. I'm Morgan. I'm Lane. And welcome to the Q&A. The Q&A. <laughs> the Q&A that Lane's been waiting for. I for love drunk Q&As. Months. That's why we all have sunglasses on. Because it's a drunk Q&A? Because we're all drunk. No, we're not all drunk. Lane's okay, just I'm, acting I'm like we drunk. are. I'm <laughs> drunk. I don't know. Uh, we have Brad here. Yes. And who's he, Brad? He is 33% of the podcast. <laughs> he is the producer. He is the reason that we know how to yep. do a podcast. That's exactly it. If it wasn't for Brad, we wouldn't have a podcast because no. Lane and I are so lazy that we did not even figure <laughs> out how anything worked. So he has to come in and set it up first for, before we do anything. And then, then we go. Yeah, pretty much. And then there's Braden. Um, <laughs> Hi. Not much good to say about him, <laughs> but uh, no, uh, Brayden is, has been my best friend since we were, I don't know, like 12. Probably All even right. earlier yeah. than that. Uh, uh, t- 11. <laughs> um, Way earlier. At 10. But uh, no, he, uh, he's my roommate now, and uh, he wanted to be on the podcast, so let's see what he's got. Yeah. If Brayden does well, he can come back. If he doesn't, he won't be back. He's on the gauntlet now. <laughs> Clutch or cake. Yeah. Clutch or cake. <laughs> yeah. All, right. All right. So how's this going to go? So me and you are going to be sharing your microphone. Mm-hmm. I'm going to hand this microphone off to those two. And we're just going to see what happens. I guess we're just going to see what happens. I have some. Oh, we do have the questions that you guys gave us. Yeah. So we're going to make sure to answer those probably just first. Yeah. Get those out, you know, not out of the way, but like give those to you guys and then we'll just go from there. Yeah. All okay. right, here's the, here's the mic, Brad. Thanks, Lane. Brad, I'm handing you the mic right now. <laughs> I'm in the process. <laughs> N- you've now received the microphone. Yeah. Okay, so how are Brad and Brayden going to ask questions if they don't have the questions? Your iPad's right there. It is, but I need a way to so, okay. view them. So I printed off. I can probably just remember my answers, but if I don't, then just hand me back this this piece of paper. Uh, these are all the questions we got from people on okay. YouTube. Top, can you just hold up there, Slane? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? I'm just going to give him this piece of paper. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, Let's shoot. <laughs> we got it. We got, no, it's settled. Okay. Brain relax. Sorry. You're here on a You're taking basis. too long. Go. Okay. The uh, the questions. <laughs> Do you need to go like throw up? It. No, I'm fine. All right. <laughs> you guys have seen me before. This isn't new for me. Oh, he's an expert. That's All why right. he's doing so well. Well, I, I've never seen this before. You have like labels and stuff, and I'm like, uh, what do I need? What do I need? You can't see with those glasses on either. Well, if you would have put a big number one next to it. I did. I know. <laughs> if you were to enter the yachting industry, would you want to interior or exterior and why? <laughs> I would like to interior. <laughs> That is the exact... I read it verbatim. Now this is evidence. Now, now we have to keep it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just give yours to Lane. I'm never not going to have a mic. You guys have to share one, all three Son of you. Of a bitch. <laughs> so, yes, I would like to interior. Um, no, <laughs> I would be great at the interior. I've said this before. Yeah. Like, I would be really good at... Um, I'm really good at, like, organization and it would not be hard for me to like move my way up, I don't think. But would you have your iPad while you were doing it? No, and I would recreate not. the entire no. way that you would clean cabins? Nope. Yeah. I already know how sense. to do all that. I mean, yeah. I know how to make a bed and stuff, so fucking lily. Um <clears throat> yeah, I would be exterior. I would be on the deck. And I don't know how well it would go because I'm not a big fan of like knots. Like I know how to tie my shoes, but that's about it. Brad, uh, give us your thoughts. I would have to go exterior just because I would want to be doing like the boats and the jet skis and I'd want to be going on the scuba excursions, which you can do interior or exterior, but I think yeah, I would. That I was would the be, question for yeah, sure. I'd be better off. You know, being part of the exterior. Cool. All right, 
here we go. <laughs> I don't like that I can hear myself. A uh, big uh, interior guy. Don't like the outdoors that much. So we're so going to pick. Be a stew? Say what? <laughs> what? Um, yeah, for sure. A uh, big interior. Would you be a uh, a cabin stew or a bar stew? Bar sounds cool. I just made that up. <laughs> But uh, uh. <laughs> all right, you know, I think I gotta go. So interior, <laughs> final answer. <laughs> what is? Here, this is cut. No, it's fine. Just leave it. Okay. We're not gonna mess with this. We're just gonna rotate mics, and let's keep the mic sound down too as much as we can. It kind of you can kind of hear it yeah, when you, can hear it. you pass it. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> if you did work on a yacht. What part of the world would you want to be at? Oh, I answered this one earlier. For sure, Greece. Like, it's by far my favorite place I've ever been. And I've visited, like, the Caribbean and other, like, European cities. And, well, I guess I've never been, like, in Italy where they're at, though, which is probably pretty similar to Greece. But, like, over there, that's where I'd want to be. Was the question if I was working or if I was a guest? I wasn't paying attention. I apologize. Working. Working. Um, I guess either one, though. I would like to be on Below Deck Adventure so I don't have to get in the water. Because the deep water scares me. I don't like it at all. What? Yeah. Not a big fan. What What does Below Deck Adventure have to do with that, though? Water's too cold. You can't get in the water. Oh, was that how it was? I forget. <laughs> I, I think... I'm not sure. Um, otherwise, I would like to be somewhere where there's clear water, where I can see sharks coming at me instead of, like, getting bit and not knowing. Yeah. I don't like sharks. I don't have a mic. I don't know why you're talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we would we would absolutely love to have four mics right now, okay? Don't get me wrong. We really should have. But the fact that we only do this like twice a year, I can't justify buying two more mics for. So. I could have totally bought one. You have one? Yeah. I just... You've had two pairs of gloves this whole time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have. I, I have one. I do own. Well, why didn't you bring it? Well, I didn't think about it. Why didn't Lane think about it? Yeah, what the hell, we Lane? Have, we have mics. They're just not directional mics like these. Well, I have the one. I mean. The one would have been fine. Lane. What? Would have been a mic. I don't know saying. what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. Okay, well, good news, guys. See next time we do this, there will be three mics and not two. See so you next year. Next year, 2025. All right, what's next? Do Braden and I get to answer this one? Mm-hmm. If you don't take forever. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's see. <sighs> Proceeds to take 10 minutes. No. Um, I like, wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't care as long as I could dive and do fun stuff on my off time so i but i would like to do like monaco or something like that for, yeah like that formula would be one super cool that's That'd like cool. a dream to be in monaco for the mm-hmm. formula one race can you imagine watching the formula race from a yacht that's what they do that, that would be, be insane it'd be nuts it even if be. you just saw like 10 seconds of the race it's worth it yeah absolutely I've actually changed, just so you guys know, because I forget I have a really bad memory. That's like my number one on my bucket list, to watch the Monaco F1 race from a yacht in the best water in the world. That's my number one on like my bucket list. Okay. Life goals. Braden? The best water in the world is in Flint, Michigan. Everybody knows that. <laughs> That's a fact. Um, I would say off the coast of Florida. <laughs> Be close to one of the Disney's. I don't know which oh one it is. Oh my god! One of the. And, First uh, of all, Disney World is in Orlando, which is the exact center of the state. <laughs> it's literally, yeah. Okay, so yeah, just so I'm closer. And um, other than that, next just question. So I'm closer to Disney World. <laughs> Probably want to go. <laughs> Okay. If 
that that would like that would be like so low on my list of water to be in it would be off the coast of Florida close to Disney World like some of the worst water. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. He's like, what do you guys want? <laughs> Brayden's like, I've actually never left the state. So I, I thought Florida was a beautiful place. Thanks, guys. Yeah, well, you went to Missouri once, right? <laughs> I've been out of the state. Okay. I've been out of the country. I've been out of the country. Yeah, Wait. but we can't talk about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where did, what country did Brayden go to? Sweden. Sweden. Really? Yes. When? When I was 18, 19. Did I know that? Like, was it like high school graduation type thing? It was, it was like the year after high school, I think. Weird. I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember that. He was kidnapped. Yeah, it was a whole thing. Oh, sorry for bringing it up. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> There's already a 60 minute on it or whatever. So. Like, if check you could that just, out. Yeah, check that what out. The, what should I they type royalties. in? Like, yeah, what should they type in? Like the search bar to find it. Um. <laughs> Great question. Next question. Bob Ross impersonator <laughs> gets kidnapped outside of Orlando, Florida. <laughs> That's accurate. Looking, looking for Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I'm actually banned from Florida. I, I hope you guys knew that. So that's why I want to be in the water. How bad do you have to screw up to get banned from Florida? The, th- that is it's true. Tough. It's that, tough. That's where they send the people that mess up. Right. Like... You know, I played myself. <laughs> Florida is like your last chance in the United States before you get kicked out. <laughs> yeah. I'm already done. Florida or Alabama? Yeah, one Either one. They're like, this is it. Okay. If you mess up here, we can't help you. <laughs> You're done for. All right. What's the next question? Who's your dream cast to work with? Oh my gosh. Can I So have let's go. Yeah, you can. Because I kind of made some notes on this. Okay, so dream cast to work with. I put Captain Sandy or Jason, but if you had a gun to my head and you were like, you can't pick both, you have to pick one. Um, I would probably to work for oh, Captain Jason. Yeah. Yeah, I like Jason just a little bit more than Sandy. Yeah, he's a, li- a tad more hands-on. And he's handsome. Yeah, he is nice to look at. He's a good looking guy. Yep. Captain Sandy is not bad looking either, but I just enjoy looking at Captain Jason more. Yeah, I remember when we <laughs> covered that season, you're like, Yeah, he's attractive, isn't he, Lane? <laughs> he like, is. I'm like, Didi, I'm you, not gay. You could objectively say Brad Brad and I talk about this all the time. Like you can well, objectively yeah. say a he's guy He's a hunk. Or, yeah. All right. You don't have to be <laughs> gay to say that someone's hot. Like, I look at girls all the time and I'm like, they're hot, but I don't like want to look at them as much as I want to look at Captain Jason. <laughs> <laughs> um, anywho, um, my chief stew would has to be Aisha. I know, I say it's this all the time. I, there is no one better. Right, Brayden? Right. <laughs> That's what, exactly what I was thinking. Um, but as far as like stews that I like, I'm going to kind of mush. Well, I know the next question is the dream cast to have if you were a guest. Do you think they're going to be the same or different? I I tried to make them different, but, but it's they're hard. not. Because yeah. you have your favorite people. Right. It, it's hard. Yeah. So we're going to just kind of mush them because I couldn't. I mean, they're just people that I like. Um, so Aisha, I like Daisy and Hannah. So Daisy from Sailing Yacht and then Hannah from the earlier seasons of Med. I don't like either of them. You don't like Daisy? I like Daisy. I don't like that she is so into getting into the crew. What? <laughs> Agda, Agda. Um, uh, don't screw the crew, Daisy. Come on. Oh, Daisy. Yeah, I guess I like Daisy in the earlier seasons, like one and two, but or one, two, and three. But I don't know. I thought I still like her. I mean, I like her as a person, but come on. Uh, my Gary, favorite, really. My favorite, like people from the deck team are Lara and Haley from this past season. Just yeah, love them so much. They they're just good at what they do, and they're so good. Yeah. Um, I liked Storm. Who remembers Storm? 
Braden. <laughs> Braden for sure. Braden yeah. remembers. Yeah, yeah. I like him. And then Joao, which I know you hate. I fucking hate Joao. But as far as like Joao would be the best to have as a guest because he's like super hands on, like knows his stuff. He better not put his hands on me. <laughs> Swear to God. Um, my favorite <laughs> other stews. Um, oh, so these were the ones I had to to have as like people serving me if I was a guest. Mm-hmm. Kyle, as a guest, yeah, he's he's like the exception of like I would not want to work with Kyle. I would love to have Kyle as my stew if I was yeah. a guest. Um, and then Natalia, I would also love to have Natalia, like be. Oh, crew. yeah. Yeah. Because she's really good at what she does. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Do you want to hear ahead. you want to hear my lineup? Sure. Uh to work with Chief Stew Asia. Second stew Bugsy. I yeah, I thought about Bugsy too. Third stew Lucy. Mm, yeah, I like Lucy. Because I just gotta know why no one hits on her. I gotta know why. I yeah, gotta she, know. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta know. And then Chef Jack, obviously. Oh, I forgot my chef. <laughs> you know who mine is? Marcos from Sailing Yacht. His Jack, food. I'm still loyal to you, but she's not. No, okay? I love Chef Jack, Jack. But like, I think food wise, Chef Marcos, every meal he put out was just like. Bullshit. Right? Brad agrees. I know Brad agrees. <laughs> What do you uh, got to say, huh? Uh, I'll give you the short list because I'm not prepared. I didn't even no. finish mine, by okay. the way. Oh. Well, Brad Brad and Braden don't have to answer this one if you yeah. guys don't know. because that's, that's a lot. Well, yeah, but I didn't even finish. Like, I didn't even talk really? about the deckhands. Well, that's because I didn't want you to talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's fucking rude. <laughs> no, she was open about it, though. Anyways, uh, Bosun, Luca, lead deckhand, Lara, deckhand, Adam... Mm. Best best guy out there, and then Harry and Z. Remember oh, okay. Z? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, Brad? What? <laughs> I have no rebuttal. I'm. We're you gonna to... fight later. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God. All right, Dreamcast. If you were a guest. I already answered. Okay. Um. Favorite season. From all below deck franchises. What what Brandon answered? <laughs> you what's your favorite? Yeah, what's your what's, favorite? Okay, give me a second. I prepared. Oh, okay. Prepared a list. Oh my god. <laughs> prepared a list for sure. Um, he actually did prepare a list for his dream, um, his dream crew. Okay. Yeah, we yeah. we talked it through. You two can have the mics. You can have the mic while he. No, no. Okay, so here we go. What should I start with? There's so many. Just, just start, <laughs> start at the top. Well, there's so many for sure. So if we were talking about the chief stew, I'm going to have to say Jess. <laughs> for sure. Wow. Why? Just because. <laughs> that's what I was thinking at the time. So that's that's what I'm going with. Um, if there was a second stew, which there may be... <laughs> I don't even know how to say this name. <laughs> so we're going to move to the third stew. It's a, uh, it's, uh, let me see it. <clears throat> Wait, Braden, didn't you write this? I how did, yeah, I know? did, but <laughs> I, I was too quick and it was hard for me to remember. <laughs> Who is it? Let me see. It's Magda. Oh, Magda. Ma- Magda. Magda, yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. That would be my she, second she stew. She was really good at her job, dude. Better up your internet yeah. use. Uh-huh. Yeah. Brayden, she did really good on her season, right? That's, I mean, it's debatable. <laughs> it goes both ways. But I'm going to have to say that my third stew would be <laughs> um, Laura. Laura. She did great, man. She, big fan. I mean, not big the best, fan. but... Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. You it, know, if I didn't went for, make people comfortable at all. But. Well, you know, that's... You know, up to the fourth stew. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You know, if there was four. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how big the boat is. I don't know either. <laughs> so I would have to say probably Hannah. Okay. 
You know, that's what I would have went with. She would do great as fourth stew. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't, it's a lot of stews. <laughs> it's a lot of them. So, well, you know, I'm going to skip over a couple. I have a long list. Hey, keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. You want me to go through this whole thing? Fifth stew. Okay. Well, What's the- you want me to go to the eighth stew? <laughs> you want me to skip on down a couple? I can. No, go to the, uh, <coughs> what's next? The the deck team? Sure. Sure. So the, hey, Braden, wait. Yeah. Give uh-huh. me an example of just, like, what the deck team does. I mean, we could talk about things <laughs> all day, but let's let's try and con- condense things down Yeah, just for a time. Cu- just give me a couple things yeah. of what they do. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So. Um, for sure. Lead deckhand. Culver, he has a great restaurant business. <laughs> love, love me some Culvers. <laughs> sure, I don't know what I'm Keep reading going. here. Keep it going, Brady. Yeah, if there was a, another deckhand, <laughs> be Ben. He, he was actually in Down Under season two. <laughs> Little known fact. <laughs> You might be able to see tears running down under my sunglasses. Uh, for sure. If, if I had one more choice of the deckhand, because I don't know. You got two more. Oh, great. Um, <laughs> oh, you got one more. But for uh, Danny from season one. Danny from season one? Danny, good he, guy. Uh, he fell in love with that model. Yeah, if from, you don't uh, remember. Season one. <laughs> you do not remember Danny. And uh, when he got called out by the guy? captain, he uh, took the SD card out of its, out of his phone. <laughs> yeah, like brief. I barely remember. Great that. guy. Great. Great guy. guy. Great I guy. stand behind. Whatever happened. <laughs> Keep it going, Brad. Keep it going. For sure. For sure. We're gonna <laughs> wind her down here. Okay. Chef, is it M- Mila? <laughs> M- <laughs> makes incredible nachos. I've been told. That's what I heard. That's her staple dish. Yeah, big nacho, big nacho person. We all like. For, this joke is going to hit so hard for anybody that remembers who Mila is and the and what happened with her. Like, that's such a good joke for who whoever gets it. Makes incredible nachos. And then Captain, I'm going to have to go with Peter. Peter? Yeah, he's not the best decision maker, but... <laughs> He's a tender captain. So that's uh that's what I got got here. If if you haven't figured this out by now, I wrote this for Braden <laughs> and he has no idea who these people are. Not one bit. But uh Wait, what? <laughs> Peter though, Breaking news. Peter I lied. <laughs> Good guy. Thank you, Braden, yep. for reading that. No problem. Oh my god. Oh, that was so fucking funny. I'm I'm so glad that I did. No, yeah, Brad can move on to the next question. Okay, that was yeah. that was good. <laughs> All right, I guess I can um, hold it. It says below deck med season four. Oh wait, no, these are probably my notes now. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know. What okay, so. Next question is favorite season from all below deck franchises. Oh, that was the question. question. Yeah. This? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, let me leave this one. <laughs> this one. Yeah, if I'm going to pick one <laughs> out of all of them, probably. It's got to be the greatest one ever. Right. It's probably, I don't know. It's a tough call. Three, it's up there. <laughs> out of the seasons, it's one of them. But if I'm going to have to circle back and really think about it, break it down to the nitty gritty of the core, uh, it's going to be season two. <laughs> season two of which, what, which you specific? Don't, hey. <laughs> you know, it could be season two of a lot of them, but we'll, we'll go with we'll go with Down Under. Okay. Yeah. So Below Deck, Down Under, season two. You yes, like that? That one, killer. <laughs> yeah. Who was the uh, chief stew that that time? <sighs> Broccoli cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go to Brad now. Yeah, Brad, take it away. Yeah, Brad, take it away. I would have. I, hmm, I would have to say. I'd probably go the med. 
but okay so that's your favorite franchise and you probably don't know exactly like what your favorite season would be brad is it's, it's, so if lane and i know everything about below deck and brayden knows zero about below deck brad knows 50 percent. yeah so that's where we're at i would i would consider myself seasoned yeah but, but not an expert yes yeah yeah we're below deck experts <laughs> in this bitch yeah um lane and i are below deck experts but not yeah. everybody can be a below deck expert right not okay that's can true be a below deck expert. <laughs> <laughs> i looked around and i was like wow no one's a below deck expert <laughs> <laughs> okay so we're just going with Matt, generally yeah but Matt i was thinking like the good old days like with hannah mm-hmm. like is the chief stew with like, hannah yeah with hannah and because those were just the good old days for yeah. me i'll just piggyback off of that mm-hmm. that was also my favorite specifically season four which is the one i think you're referring to was when hannah was chief and asia was second yeah and that then was, was the best yeah. season was that when hannah kind of had a thing with ben too Ooh, if it was, that makes that season even better. Yeah. I can't remember. That might have been the season prior. Okay. No, it was. Because I can't remember who the, who the chef was, but it, I don't think it was Ben. Okay. Maybe it was. Maybe it was Adam. Was Adam on there? Uh, Adam. It could... <laughs> <laughs> That's a good possibility. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so <laughs> Med started with Ben and then... Yeah, and then Adam came in, and I can't remember. It might have been okay. Adam. I don't remember specifically. Um, my favorite season of Below Deck is Below Deck Sailing Out Season 2. Mm-hmm. Because that is when I started watching Below Deck. Because yeah. I was here, me and you were watching it. Mm-hmm. I was like, what is this bullshit? <laughs> and then I'm like watching it and you said something. I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to watch Below Deck. I think we told this on the first Q&A, yeah. but, but it, it really was like I was here. Or no, no, no. We, we did tell this on the first Q&A, but I guess. We did, yeah. um, But my power was out. Remember, and I was just sit, staying at your house. Yeah, or like my internet was out or something. We, what, one of the two. Yeah, and I was watching Below Deck at your house, and then I left because like my power came on or whatever it was, and then you watched the whole rest of the season yourself. Yeah, I finished it in like <laughs> twelve hours. <laughs> Didn't sleep at all, and here we are. We're the Below Deck experts. Here, I'll switch you. Okay. The cord's longer. Oh jeez. Did you finish? Yeah. Did we are oh and we already asked Braden. Okay. Yeah, he went yeah. first. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, here Lane. So I think that was all the questions we got from YouTube below deck related. We get two more. Oh we do? Mm-hmm. Can I just say my No. No, yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Favorite crew member from the entire franchise. Mm. Ooh, we got to start with Brayden. Go ahead, Bray. Uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> Peter Pumpkin Eater. Now that is a guy I want running my ship. I bet you do. Yeah, so yeah. Peter. Thank you. Thank you. He's like, next question. <laughs> Thank you. Next question. Um, so favorite crew. Are you talking interior or? Any any person. The whole in, out. <laughs> up, down. Boom. Bada bing. <laughs> it's getting crazy. Man, that's a hard one. I love Q&A. I love these episodes. This is so going to this is gonna piss Lane off. Oh. But it'd probably be Joel. Oh, he loves Son Joel. Yeah. Oh. I, I initially. No, straight up. Initially, like He's season, a turd. <laughs> like I first time, I was like, "Wow, Joe, I was a turd." <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, like that's initially how I felt about Joe. Mm-hmm. His first like two seasons, you're like, "Who is this guy?" Like, he he becomes a jackass when he drinks. <laughs> Nodding in agreement. Yeah. No, two years to warm up to him. Brain yeah, machine. yeah, and he, but then he like. He changed as a person. He became more about it, and his work ethic took off from there. And ever since then, I was like, "Yep, like that's the that would be the bosun I would want to work for, the first officer." Mm-hmm, for sure, he's a captain now. Yeah. 
Um, okay, I'll go since you guys are doing whatever you're doing. Okay, so my favorite person ever. Um, I feel like I sound like a broken record, but there's really no reason to not say Asia. Asia, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if there was ever like another like lower stew that I really liked. Uh, I liked Courtney. Courtney is uh Her and oh, Z yeah. had that little fling on Ned. Mm-hmm. But did you know what I was gonna say? What? She's got an OnlyFans. Oh really? And that's like her whole Instagram. It's oh, like that's her, like her whole thing now. It's her whole thing now. Damn. Which is crazy. I mean, you go girl. I'll never, you know, get your money. Because I bet she's making a lot of money. So you go girl, but it's just interesting. <laughs> get that cheddar. Get that um, cheddar. Um, so Asia and um, um Okay, actually I'm gonna give you a better question. Okay. Not a better question, but a more difficult question. Okay. Um out of these people, who is your number one favorite? You have to kill everybody else. Everybody else has to die. Wait, you could do like fuck Mary Kill. Okay, I'm not gonna do that with my sister, but anyways, um, so no, you, you have to pick. Is that one, crazy? You have to pick one to live, and the rest of them die. But that's not as fun. It's. I don't want to hear about who you'd want to fuck. Um, anyways, <laughs> uh, pick one to live: Jack, Asia, Captain Jason, Captain Sandy. Okay, Jack. I would put Asia. Adam in there, but. I know he wouldn't make Captain Jason, top five. Captain Sandy. Only one of them can live and the rest mm-hmm. have to die. They all have to die a horrible death. Oh my god. Um oh no. I don't want any of them to die a horrible death. They all have to. <laughs> Besides, Besides one. one. Yeah. This is like a very um ethically difficult question. Didn't ask. Um gosh, I would Okay, like I'd probably have to go with Aisha because she's the youngest out of all of them. She hasn't lived as much They're life. They're gonna die. What about you? Who would you save? Adam. Adam out of all five <laughs> of those? No, I'd pick Jack. Really? Because you like him? So you'd kill Aisha? I wouldn't want to, but... Well, that's what you're saying, that you want to, you can't wait. I don't want to, but I have to, you know. Well, you made this question. rule... Yeah, I'm just saying, I, I wouldn't kill Jack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. Cause I don't Who do you that... want to murder in cold blood? <laughs> 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 now, the last question from the from the comments is, what is the reason that you go to Arizona? Oh, yeah, that was the last one I had. Mm-hmm. And I put, um, to watch our dad <laughs> have a meltdown about not being in Illinois. <laughs> what, was, uh, what was your answer to that? Um, to not being, oh, because of the snow and stuff, dad had a meltdown because he felt like he needed to be back here because there was a bunch of snow. Um, reasoning, but it really is just the temperature. So like, well, of course, Arizona is warm, but like what I love about it is I'm super sensitive, like I'm allergic to everything. And so living in the Midwest, I have to deal with like poison ivy and I'm allergic to pollen and grass and all of that. And Arizona is just the desert and I just do really well there. Like all I need is my humidifier and I, you know, don't have to take an allergy pill. So um, that's super interesting. If you guys want me to keep talking about my allergies, I totally will. What do you what do you think? What do you think is this a hot topic or... N- no. Okay. Um, but the next question was, why did you take your sunglasses off? Because they were, it was squeezing my head, but I'm going to put them back on once I give the mic to somebody, but I, I've been holding the mic ever since I took them off. So I can't do like the three things at one Not time. my problem. So anyways. What, what, what are we doing now? <laughs> Brad gets a microphone and doesn't do anything with it. Here, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it from here. Okay. Um, if you could throw a rock at any below deck crew member, who would it be? 
Aside from the people who did really fucked up shit. Braden? Peter. 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 What a piece of shit, right? He just looks like if I threw a rock at him, he'd catch it. That's. <laughs> and then you'd be playing catch with him. Yep. Even though I know you can't catch shit. Okay, that's not true. You're not athletic at all. I beat you in bowling yesterday. <laughs> you did. Come and on, dude, basketball, you're, you're too. You're missing the best comeback to that. He's got that knee. You guys, like, you you guys played <laughs> bowling and basketball yesterday? <laughs> we went to the YMCA together. Yeah. <laughs> we, no, we went to a bar. <laughs> and... uh I I was pretty drunk. Oh, uh, here we go. Excuses. Do it sober. Oh, see yeah. who wins. Okay. Asshole. Me again, because I'm not good. Piece of shit. All right, but Peter, if I was gonna throw a rock. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very good. Thank you. Um, where was this <laughs> bar that had bowling and basketball? Peter. <laughs> if there was a rock being thrown, Peter. Thank you. What bar is it? I have to I have to blur this out, but it's. So it's not real basketball or real bowling. Right? It's Peter. Not real. <laughs> it's still one, though. It's crazy. Yes. You're going to make excuses. Go, Peter. If I had to throw a rock at any below deck cast member, I don't remember this one in the comments, but. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a contribution. Um, but, like, I can't say um, Laura. What? Why? No, Laura. Laura. From Below Deck Down Under. Was Uh, her name Laura? Season two. I thought you meant Laura. (laughs) No, not Laura. Laura. Brayden's favorite season. Yes, season two. (laughs) I could have even told you that. Yeah. As an expert. I mean, not an expert. Don't come at me right now. <laughs> so anyway, I'd definitely throw a rock at Laura. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> relax. You Peter? List. Well, Peter. <laughs> Different story. <laughs> Brad, who is yours? Um, who's the guy that jumped in bed? Oh, I know. I can't remember his name. I already uh, not the guys not the guys that did fucked up shit. So okay. Lane, Lane says you can't say okay, that. Okay, here's okay, this here's mine then. It He deserves it, but yeah, not those. He people. does. Okay. Right. Sometimes Kyle. Mm. Sometimes I want to throw a rock at Kyle. I love Kyle to death, but sometimes when I want to hit him with a rock. Mm-hmm. Looks like a little pebble. Yeah. I just want, like, just not like, like a boulder. Yeah, it's like that. Hey. Yeah. Like you're kind of being a dick. <laughs> I would like to throw a rock <coughs> at Culver. <laughs> And I would like if it went in his mouth and he choked on it for a little bit. Just not a fan. Not a fan of Culver. What? Restaurants. It's a big franchise. So if you could not talk down about Culver. Are those uh, those edibles kicking in or what? No. I (laughs) plead the fifth. But... Culver. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Culver is a saint. Thank you. Thank you. What uh what does his hair look like? <laughs> <laughs> He's probably got some. <laughs> or maybe he doesn't. Shit, he knows exactly who he is. <laughs> if you know if you know Santa. <laughs> what song did I sing for you on your birthday last year? <laughs> Happy birthday, of course. <laughs> That's all I got. Next question. Thank you. <laughs> what else you got? All right, we're getting into the uh, questions that we wrote. Okay. Oh, okay. Everyone's looking at me, and I'm a little uncomfortable. <laughs> did no one else write any questions? I wrote some. I have some. All right. Everyone's for a second relax. Here. Yeah, Brad, grab his. You just put your iPad away, unless you really want to answer questions on that one. I wrote a bunch of questions. Hey, just throw it out. You just complained about questions, and now you're saying I wrote a bunch of questions. What do you have to say about that? 
I was scared because everyone Blaine, was looking leaving? at me. Blaine, you're off the pod. Yeah. Brayden's the new co- Brayden's the new below deck spurt. All right, guys. That this would... episode's about Peter <laughs> again. <laughs> I wonder I if that would be entertaining to have a podcast with someone who knows absolutely everything about something and then the other person knows absolutely nothing about it and if that would be funny. It might be. The... Season three of Med was garb. <laughs> if I have anything to say about it, season three, straight up trash. <laughs> season four is all right, though. Could you articulate why? Well, because if you, the stews could have been some better choices for stews. Honestly. Who was it? I mean, they're so forgettable. <laughs> <laughs> They're so forgettable. That season was so forgettable. It was that bad. They're so forgettable. Yeah. I swear to God, I looked at the stews and I was like, wow, I don't remember. Yeah, the name. stews, it was just not happening. So that's just my opinion. You know, don't want to take any heat for it, though. So I feel like my Trump's getting better. It's all right. Fuck you. I'll give you a solid seven out of 30. Uh, I was going to take it. No, I don't. <laughs> seven out of 30. No, it is actually getting very good the impression I but, go that but you are putting a lot of work into it <laughs> day and night i'm just sitting in my day house and, and yeah. i just i'm like is it trump here yeah, <laughs> yeah brain's laying in bed and he just hears china <laughs> china i swear to god china. like he's here he's it's like santa claus like, i think he's here <laughs> i think this Braden might be lo- the guy Braden loads a shotgun like, i swear <laughs> to god if he's here <laughs> This I'm is like, the guy. I'm like, Brayden, Brayden, I'd, I'd come up there, but you have a shotgun. <laughs> I swear to God, if you didn't have a shotgun, I'd come up there. <laughs> All right, so what's the next question? Let me read it off. Which one, which one are we looking at? Anything, dude. What's your favorite so sport? <laughs> what's your favorite sport, guys? I think that's a great one to start off with, personally. Hockey. Um, Volleyball. Mm, it'd either be Supercross or F1. Ooh, F1 also. So I played college volleyball. Like volleyball all around to play is my favorite sport, and I also love watching it, but I love F1. Yeah. So. I'd stick with F1 probably. Yeah. So fun. Or Supercross. Hey, we might be going to the F1 race in Vegas if it happens this year. Well, Meet and greet. Uh, yeah, right. I would love that. All right, what's next, Braden? Uh, I think you have to freaking Oh, wait, answer. you're right, sorry. sorry. Football? Uh, it's a sport. It, it is. Braden wouldn't be a virgin if he would F1 <laughs> girl. <laughs> wait, wait, push the button. <laughs> but <Ba-dun-tsh>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> That just hurts even worse. <laughs> yeah, this has been fun, guys. I've had a blast. <laughs> All right, we're going to go on to the next question here, guys. You know, if I were to ask any question, it would be <laughs> favorite movie. <laughs> That's stupid. Favorite movie. That's it. Um, Two I, words. I always fall back on like Titanic. Yeah, Stuart Little for sure. <laughs> yes. It's a great one. Who gave Ti- him a mic? <laughs> Titanic's the one I like. Always comes to mind. I love Barbie. Okay. I watched that one multiple times. Um, the holiday. <gasps> yes. Oh my God. Why? How did I? How did I forget about the holiday? Always do. So my basically all the movies I own on Amazon that I've actually like bought are my favorite movies. So Barbie, The Holiday, Titanic. I think. <laughs> well, shout out your Amazon login, and, <laughs> and our fans can see your favorite movies. No. <laughs> My social security number, if you need it, is <laughs> <laughs> um, or twenty sixty nine. Sixty nine. That's a full. That's. Do you think that's that's somebody's social security number? No, that's not enough numbers. Yeah, no. You could do four twenty four twenty sixty nine sixty nine. No, it's no, three, no. You're right. Two three two four. You're right. Seventeen thirty-eight. <laughs> I'm like, hey, what's hey. up? 
I just imagine like some ninety year old woman having like seventeen thirty eight in her social security number. <laughs> And she's like, hey, what's up, hello? Yeah. <laughs> Every time someone knocks on her doors, hey, what's up, hello? I can answer for Brad's favorite movie. Go. The Hunt for the Red October. Yeah, I love that movie. It's a great one. <laughs> I've been married to him for how many years? Six. Seven. It'll be seven in August. Yeah. And he, he has watched The Hunt for Red October probably 20 times yeah but see it's like or more, 25 maybe it's like my mean girls though it's like it's nostalgic Ooh, that's also kind of. up there for me like see, top that's five what I'm mean saying. girls mm-hmm. yeah i know um yeah if you come into their house it's very apparent that they're married and that they got married in 2017 because it's just all over the fucking walls <laughs> And I'm not in any of the pictures. <laughs> yeah, you are. It's whatever. There's a whole collage on this wall over here that's got you on it. Not from the, the not from the wedding. <laughs> yeah, it is. Right uh, I didn't see I'm it. starting to see what the it's an observation problem is what it is. Yeah. I try to tell him to go to the eye doctor. Yeah, he won't. You know. I won't go to the eye doctor. <laughs> I went there and I was like, wow, they can't see either. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, what was the question? Favorite movie. Yeah. The Departed. It's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, no. It's a toss up for sure between Big Fat Liar and Clock Stoppers. Both of them solid flicks. You know, uh, 2012 ish era. <laughs> no. Uh, those what? are like 2000. No, no, no. Clock Stoppers. <laughs> I mean, yes. Yeah, you're right. 2002. No, 2002. Yes. yes. 2002. Clock Stoppers and then Big Fat Liar was probably 2000. Correct. Great films. I, I, I like Clock Stopper. Yeah, back we, in the can I give that again, please? Is that the dude with the white hair that's like slicked back? No. We were uh, back to freshmen the future. in high school in 2012. Yeah, I know. I misspoke. Can't we have... Loser. Mi- you know, we all make mistakes. Not me. Okay. Well, so like those are my it. two. Big Fat Liar, Clock Stoppers, both great it's hits. So hard to choose. Yeah, you just can't. I'm they pretty like sure they're tied for first. Yeah, they're, they're so, there's a lot of meaning, a lot of focus, a lot of character arcs. It's great. <laughs> character arcs. Well, you want me to read the next question? Okay. Let's do it. Let's go. Um. Okay. It's hard to read. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite musician slash artist? I mean, if I come on, guys, let's go. Let's That's hear. Such it. a dumb question to ask me. Okay, well, we'll go to the next one then. Honestly, yeah, asking T- both of us. Taylor Swift. Taylor, well, here, I'll give you my top three because that makes me a little bit more interesting than just Taylor <laughs> Swift, like other billions of people. Um, so Taylor Swift, uh, Machine Gun Kelly, Post Malone. Um, yeah, number one for me is I Prevail. Um, trying to think of the other two, because you, you were like, oh, top three. And I was like, well, I am. I do, but he's not in my top three. Uh, I Prevail, Deadlands, and I gotta go Annika Wells. Big fan of her. You're up. No, me. Um. The, um. The Wiggles. The Wiggles. I know for sure. Yes, I, I <laughs> usually put them number one. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Yeah, that, sh- that shit hits. It does. It's a bop. It's always playing at your house. I mean, yeah, you come by, it's like, <laughs> it's like the Wiggles are 90% of the time on the record. <laughs> yeah. yeah, big fan. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. He has a record player, too. Yeah, <laughs> I do. The Wiggles. Yeah, Only I get the vinyl one. presses. <laughs> Limited edition, signed. Out of 100, so pretty cool. He actually pressed pressed it onto vinyl himself. Right, yeah, honestly, yeah. He bought this whole fucking thing and takes up our living room. It's really annoying. It's a craft, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I work hard on it. Um, otherwise... Haven't used it in years. No, no. Um, otherwise, maybe Sean Kingston. <laughs> um, you know, he's been putting out bops... Since for as long as I can from remember. From like definitely from like two thousand six to right. two thousand eight for he, sure. Right. And then his like, mixtape Stairways to Heaven <laughs> was fire. 
Fire. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Brad. Did you have a third? Uh, well. <laughs> oh, yes. There was the Wiggles. Wiggles. Then Sean, Sean Kingston. Kingston. <laughs> and then it's got to be Blue Dream, Man Group. Dream it's Blue Man Group. Everyone's favorite. Blue Man Group. Studio band. Studio. The Blue Man Group. Yeah. yeah, Paul McCartney's up there, but if you look at like history, you know the impressions made on people. Blue Man Groups touched a lot of more hearts <laughs> than Paul McCartney, on even on a good day for Paul. Blue yeah. Man Group, there. I mean, there's like five of them playing every fucking day. You know, every single day in Vegas. Yeah, and, and all the cities around the world. Yeah, really. people like to see them. You know, hit paint in the air. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. For sure. That's such a solid top three. Thank respect. You. Respect. Um, <laughs> mine, I would fall on the more obscure side. Yeah. Um, I would have to go with so many chords. Pantera, uh, Lamb of God, and it would be really hard to decide between Slipknot. They can't. I, here's the problem I run into is I go in phases with those guys, so it's like <laughs> I'll bounce between. Slipknot, Machine Head, Kill Switch Engage, like it's <laughs> Lady Annabellum. And Billie Eilish. I just can't figure out which one. Uh, Tiesto. Yeah. Ray Mysterio. Yeah, all that. Yeah. John Cena. <laughs> John Cena. So, this is a real story, guys. Okay, we'll 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 exit the bit. So Lane was obsessed with pro wrestling when he was a kid. He had like tubs full of these pro wrestlers. Okay. And don't call me tubs, okay? I wasn't that fat. And so we got um like when iTunes was first a thing. I can't remember like what year it came out, but um like I had an iPod, but then eventually Lane got an iPod. And the first, I swear to God, like the first two songs that he downloaded onto his iPod were the was the John Cena one. Mm -hmm. You can't see me. Yeah, you and can't then, see that motherfucker. <laughs> Tell you that for free. And then what was the one with the twins? The Hardy pro Boys. wrestling twins. The Hardy Boys? Oh yeah, the Hardy Boys. I think they yeah. had a song. Yeah. And yeah. the, those were legit songs that Lane listened to, so it's not even a joke. He loves them. Okay, well, <clears throat> uh, you didn't need to tell people that. Okay. Well, I did. You know, I paid my cold arm. Cold arm. Cold. Uh, are you okay? I paid money for that, okay, is what I'm trying to say. You paid money for those songs? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I know. Wow. Yeah, so fuck off. So that means My first two iTunes songs. No one can asked. Can you guys remember? Can you remember the first songs you bought on iTunes? Because mine was One Sweet Day by Mariah Carey and Boys to Men, I think. Boys and to Men. Jesus Walks by Kanye West. <laughs> Donda <laughs> sucked, you piece of shit. <laughs> hey, whoa, what? Whoa, I bet whoa, no one else whoa. in the entire world has those two. Two songs together as their first two songs they purchased on iTunes. I'm just saying. Burr, burr, burr. It's John Cena. Yep. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> okay, what's next? Let's do like two more questions. Okay. Um, two. What are three things that the audience doesn't know about you? Oh my Jesus god. <laughs> Braden, you could say that you drive a car. No one knows anything about <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, that's true. Relax. I'm trying what to think. Do you know? I can go first. Yeah, you go first while I think of mine. I love the Purge universe. All the movies, all the TV shows, I fucking love the Purge. Mm -hmm. Brad, you're up next. Oh, we're going like one at a time? Yeah. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. What's so you got one? Run it by me one more time. What's something they don't know about you, okay. like the podcast? Um, That I play guitar. Yeah. I don't think they knew that. Oh, here we go. Braden, can, you can literally say anything. I'm a huge Sean Kingston fan. No, they, <laughs> they know, know that. that. They knew that. Okay. Um, I, I like drinking Coors Light. No, they definitely they, knew they that. Yeah. Anything that's not in the <laughs> currently... 
Anything okay. that's not in the room. Okay. Okay. This is what you're getting replaced by. <laughs> yeah. God. Um. China. All right. Here we go. One more. One, one more try. try. One, one more try. try. And then you don't get a mic ever again. <laughs> I drive a foreign whip. Oh my gosh. That's, he did it. He did it. Thank you. Um. I'm still trying to think of mine. I love Animal Crossing. Do they know I love Animal Crossing on Nintendo Switch? I feel like you said that. Okay. That's close, though, because I don't remember saying that. Uh, my favorite podcast is Armchair Expert. You said that. I've said that. Dang it. But I do I'm love sure you said that. I do love Armchair Expert. Um, my favorite TV show is SVU. Have I said that? I'll give that. I'll give that to you. I don't okay. Know, I don't know if you've said that. You probably have. Okay. I'll give that to you. Law and Order SVU. I'm just trying to think of the things I do on a daily basis, and it's not much. I've said I do CrossFit. Can't say that again. I know. The, the, answering this, my own <laughs> question was so hard. Yeah, I love Taylor Swift. Those are just my big, the big things about my personality. Yeah, answering this was so hard because, like, I wrote the question, but mm-hmm. I was like, "What have I not said on the podcast?" Yeah. Um, I have diarrhea. Well, I multiple would've... times a day. <laughs> I'm six foot tall. I don't think people know that I'm that tall. Yeah, I'm six five. I'm yeah. taller than her. Yeah, we're like two. <laughs> we're pretty tall people. Yeah. So I don't think we've said that. So Brayden's like go. five six. What a fucking loser. <laughs> five nine. I'm five nine on a good day. Okay. No, I'm, five I'm five nine, nine in five heels. Ten on a good day. <laughs> Brayden, all the time, Brayden's like, I'm 5'9 in heels. I'm like, they, I didn't ask at all. That's in flats. You got another question or you want me to go for mine? What? Did he answer it? Did you oh, answer yeah, three things? things? Oh, yeah. Three. Oh, I didn't say three. I just said one. It's okay. We're, we could do I just, one. Okay, let me answer one more and then we can move on. Okay. Um... <laughs> You write down like ten things about yourself. No, I wrote down three, but I don't. I didn't. I don't want to talk about one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so I still have PTSD shit. about it. So um, to talk about it. So this is exactly what I wrote down. Okay. I'm absolutely terrified of heights. I have on multiple occasions giving given myself a panic attack by thinking about being on top of a building. But I have also gone skydiving. It's true. Yeah. We went skydiving. Okay, question. Hold on. I have a question. I'm intrigued now. So did you experience this more or less after skydiving? More? More. So even after you did skydiving, Mm -hmm. you had more frequent panic attacks after the fact. I mean, it was only like, yeah. Okay. It's interesting. Mm-hmm. Here. I was just going to tell that I've also been skydiving. So Yeah, we went skydiving yeah. together. Yeah. If you haven't noticed, Lane and I are like best. We're brother and sister, but like best friends too. Um, And we went skydiving together. <laughs> and I passed out. Yeah, and that's a hilarious. Whole, that's a whole story I will not get into. Can I, can I post the picture? Yes. All right, I'm going to put it right here. <laughs> But yeah, if you if if it's the picture I'm thinking that he's gonna post, it's so good. My best friend, she literally I'll when put I put it up here or something. I don't know what the camera angle is right now. So, Kara was yeah. like, "I'm gonna frame this in my house." Like she loves that picture so <laughs> much. Hilarious. She'll text me every like six months or so and be like, "Send me that picture." I can't believe she like loses it, but she like yeah. has me resend that picture like twice a year because she's talking to somebody about it. Yeah, so well, it's great. Not only that, that is really she's... funny. She said on more than one occasion that like every other week she'll look at that picture and just because it makes her laugh every time she looks at it. Because it's literally like the guy. Like the the guy behind her is like yeah. ready to go, ready to land, and she's it was a like, tandem <laughs> jump, is what it's called. <laughs> and I ran over because I was like, "Oh my god, my sister's dead!" And I sprinted <laughs> no, over no, there. She's she's dead. Dead. I sprinted over there, and I'm like, "Oh my god, what did you do? What did you do?" I was ready to kick the shit out of that guy, and he's like, "No, she just passed out." I'm like, "Okay." And I look down, and you're like, well, what happened? 
And I'm like, Didi, we paid for this. Why did you pass out? I'm like, we paid money for this. Stay awake. So I jumped out of the plane, did the free fall, and was fine. He pulled the chute. We're literally just drifting down, totally chill, right? Like, the parachute's fine. Everything's fine. I'm like, I'm, I told the guy, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to pass out. Because I felt the clouds coming in. He's like, okay, okay. I said, I think it's because the straps on my legs are too tight. Which I think, I mean, yes, I think I freaked out, obviously, because I was skydiving. But I think that had something to do with it where all the blood rushed to my legs. Because when you pull the chute. Gravity. Right. Yeah. Gravity. I'm, like, I think that's a real thing. And so I was telling him, like, the, the straps are too tight. He was loosening them. And then I'm like, yeah, no, I, I'm going out. He's like, are you sure? I'm like, yep. <laughs> So I knew I was going out and then I passed out and then I wake up on the ground and this girl's in front of me and I'm like, wow, she is really close to me in the air. (laughs) Like I thought I was still in the air. She's like, no, we're on the ground. I'm like, oh, and just shout out to this guy. Like I thank this guy every time I like tell this story or think of this story. The guy that I was strapped to, don't know his name, don't know anything about him. He saved my legs from being broken. Like. Because yeah. if you're just limp and you you fly in, I mean, they tell you to tuck your legs. So he had to, like, actually tuck my legs for me because I was passed out and, like, I could have broken my legs. I had a very different experience. <laughs> um, our poor grandma, too. Yeah. She went with us. And, oh, my God. Because my parents were, like, our parents were, like, somewhere. They were, like, traveling. Yeah. And we were adults. So no one had to go with us. But. Yeah, but grandma wanted to come to take pictures. And poor grandma. I'm I was like, she probably thought I died too. Yeah, I thought you died. But um no, my experience was we're we're up in the plane and I I went before you, didn't I? I yeah, know. I definitely did because okay. I was on the ground when you were landing okay. and I thought you died. <laughs> um so this dude who I've never met in my entire life is uh strapped to me. Or I'm strapped to him, <laughs> and he's like, "All right, stand up, and uh, we're gonna go jump out of a plane." I'm like, "Okay, well, can we talk about this?" <laughs> he was like, "No." Like, All right, oh, that sucks. And he's like, "Don't put your arms up on the side of the plane." Yeah, when you jump. near the door, yeah. don't do that. I was like, "Well, I kind of want to do that in my head." <laughs> And this dude is like a foot shorter than me. No, I remember him being somewhat tall. I mean, you're tall, but I remember him. I don't remember him being super short. I remember him being a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my guy being shorter than your guy because like, yeah. he was shorter than me. But anyways, so my thought process was it's a small door. If I jump out of the plane, he's going to bang his head on the top <laughs> of the fucking plane on the top of the door. He's going to get knocked out, and then I'm going to, you know, go 20 feet into a cornfield. But anyways, I put my hands up like this. He chops my arms down and pushes me out of the plane. I'm like, that's assault. That's assault. See, I remember you being totally chill. I was totally chill on the the outside. On On the inside, I was like, I could just die. Yeah, there's no way we would do that now. I would never do that <laughs> again, ever. No, I know. But the thing <laughs> was, the thing was, we j- I jumped out of the plane. It's like 10 seconds until they pull the, f- yep. pull the chute. And when, when they pull the chute, it's just like the most quiet yep. you've ever heard in your life. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, my God, this is the most peaceful thing ever. It is, yeah. But if this guy pulls a strap, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to die. <laughs> And this guy's going to be like, oh, shit, I forgot to put this strap together. Yeah. See, I didn't even have any of those fears. I really didn't have any fears of me, um, like, coming unstrapped from the guy or anything. I never, I didn't even think about that. The thing is, they're just straps, though. I mean, it's a great design, I'm sure Brad could attest to. Yeah. Um, but anyways, that's our skydiving story. <laughs> We we got really deep into that. Yeah, let's yeah, uh, let's move on. In the weeds. One more. Make it good. What? Well, this is the last question. Um. 
What's your favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> that one's decent. Just pick one. No one has braids. Of the four seasons, which is your favorite and why? Oh, uh, that's a shitty question. Exactly. Fall. Why? Why? You didn't answer the why. You're only half assing it. <laughs> Jesus. Because I like fall. Okay. Nice right. leaves. All right. Pick another question. <laughs> okay, I won't pick a better one than that. Um, you know, if I had to pick one, other than the one <laughs> nobody I just picked, fucking asked. What is your favorite thing to do with your spare time? This question kind of sucks too, because I think I've already talked about everything I do in my spare time. I work a lot. What is your favorite fucking book? <laughs> <laughs> For Christ's sake, just talk about a book. Okay, this is good. I'll talk about the book I'm reading currently. I'm That's having... your favorite? N- no. Well, the question well, is I... favorite. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're already not answering it. Great. Great. Trevor Noah's book. I love Trevor Noah's book. It's yeah, what's it called? Uh, Born a Crime. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I want to shout out the book I'm reading now, Tomorrow, Tomorrow, and Tomorrow. It's a favorite. It's, um, it's really good so far, so if you're looking for a good book to read, read that one. Bye. I think it's like Ga- Gabrielle Zevin or something. Like Gabrielle, Gabrielle Zevin, I'm pretty sure. Or Levin. Something like that. What was the stupid favorite ass book? question? <laughs> Which favorite book? Favorite book. Um, Hunger Games. What's Twilight. the one that what's the one that killed John Lennon? Catcher in the Rye? Yeah, a, I like that book. The book didn't <laughs> kill him. He just, <laughs> the book didn't jump out and get him. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> guy just had it in his backpack. God. <laughs> like, for Christ's sake. Uh, that fucking loser was yeah. wearing a backpack. Is like, all right. He might have been <laughs> was he carrying a purse or something. Mid-book. Jeez. <laughs> Mid as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Brad, what's up with you? <laughs> Hey, right. Bray, can you give me a beer? Nope. Favorite nah. book? Um, I'd have to start with the Terminal List. Jack yeah. Carr. That or the Gray Man series. Mark Greeny. Terminal List. Yeah, that series or Mark Greeny's. Either one of those. Hey, Braden, I don't see your hands getting me another beer. <laughs> this is the last question. I, there's literally one more response. There's like beer right there. <laughs> give us your answer. I have to give an oh. answer. I already uh, gave my now answer. Now it's a hostage negotiation. The one that killed John Lennon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, to be honest, I, I do actually really like To Kill a Mockingbird. Do you have an answer? I have been getting advertisements on my YouTube for weeks now. For... <laughs> The To Kill a Mockingbird play. Is it because of your ass yeah. on, on the Wi-Fi that yeah. I keep getting this stupid Broadway play review? I'm never going to watch it. But Rolling the Stones fuck? has given it a five star. Man, I killed John Lennon. <laughs> no, it didn't. Watching. That was Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> killing Mockingbird. So you were admitting the Catcher in the Rye killed. No, no. Oh, shit. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> if I'm gonna pick a favorite book series, it's gonna be Nancy Drew. <laughs> that bitch could solve any crime. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> You're welcome. So <laughs> that's that's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> that's a wrap. And with that. This Q and A is going to end because I'm not going to let it continue anymore. No. Um, thank you. If you guys made it this far, I know that should just be our catchphrase at this point. <laughs> like, if you made it this far, wow. We love you. We love you. Um, and we will see you next week with the first episode of the new season of Below Deck. We'll see you then. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>